Are you in this picture? That's me, and that's Mommy and Kyle. You look sad in this picture. Are those tears? Why are you crying? Kyle is your brother? He's my half-brother. Oh, because you guys have different moms, right? We have the same daddy. Daddy? There's no daddy in this picture. Where's he? He's out of town. Is that why you're sad? No. Because Mommy loves Kyle more than me. I bet she loves you both the same. She reads him stories all the time, but not to me. Well, where does she read Kyle's stories? In his room. They close the door, and I'm not allowed. You never went in there? Not one time? It was because I heard noises. I thought Mommy was crying. What were they doing? They were playing in bed. They didn't have any clothes on. Concern about what? She said some things that might indicate problems at home. What kind of problems? Actually, we were hoping that uh, you could help us with that. We brought her here based on a picture she drew at school and statements she made to Detective Benson, which seemed to describe a sexual relationship between your wife and your son. What are you talking about? What kind of picture? Her daughter said she'd seen them sleeping in the same bed together. Are you out of your mind? She's... She's his mother. Do you think that Chloe made it up? She had to. Where's your wife now, Mr. Fuller? Proven that's the only way we're going to charge you with statutory rape. It's not illegal to have sex with a 17-year-old. He turned 17 last month. You don't think it's likely that the abuse started long before that? Doesn't matter what I think if they're not breaking the law. Even if the abuse started yesterday, she's still essentially his mother. She's taken advantage of her control over him. Unless he's a normal teenager who's just happy to be banging an actress. You must know my client, Gloria Stanfield. Heard a lot about you. I'll be with you in a minute. She wanted to clear this matter up as soon as she got back to town. How are the Hamptons? Dull. I know the other detectives already spoke to Kyle. He told you the truth. I am not having a sexual relationship with my stepson. What more can I tell you? You think Chloe lied about it? I think she makes up stories. She's a child. Where do you think Chloe got these ideas from? Television, probably. My old movies, for that matter. Now, this is really ridiculous. Chloe draws a picture and everyone blows it out of proportion. I would never do anything to hurt my stepson. You let me take my daughter home right now, or I will slap a lawsuit on you. So angry, you get your nickel break. Shut up. She raped my son. God knows what she did to my daughter. Our daughter. No, you don't deserve to be a mother. You're disgusting. Yeah, make up some more stories. Everyone knows it, so you can get out of child support when I divorce you. I will kill you if you touch my children again. I don't want to hear another threat like that. No, am I clear? He hits me and he hits them. You should investigate that. You two can fight this out in family court. Until then, your children will be in the custody of the state. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my sweetheart. Wait a minute. Oh, baby. No. It's OK. This is kidnapping! Much, I need you to do emergency removal of Kyle Fuller. Where's the little one? ACS placed you with an aunt and uncle in the area. Well, let's all hope insanity isn't a family trait. Any luck with Kyle? No, not at home, not with friends. Munch and Finn are still out looking, and uh, your day isn't over yet. Blow to the back of the head's probably what did it, but he's got impact wounds to the torso, thighs, forearms. Went down fighting. Murder weapon looks like it's cylindrical, two or three inches in diameter. Like a baseball bat? That'd do it. Found it under Kyle's bed. I'll bag it for prints. What's going on? Your father was killed. Somebody attacked him in your apartment. I'm sorry. Where's Gloria? Well, I was going to ask you the same thing. Taking your father's death kind of well, though. Come on. He's a 17-year-old boy with strong ties to his stepmother and his five-year-old sister. Who is currently residing with relatives at the behest of the state pending an ACS investigation of the stepmother. All the more reason he's not a flight risk, Your Honor. The defendant is charged with viciously beating his father to death with a baseball bat. 
This is a first arrest. He is no hardened criminal. Bail is set at $1 million, and we'll also hold on to Mr. Fuller's passport for the duration of the trial. Next case, let's move it along. Gloria Stanfield's room, please. I'm sorry, I can't give that out. It says you can. I can give you the room, but she's not in right now. Well, do you know where she went? I arranged for a car to JFK. They didn't say where they were going. They? She had her son with her? He was young, but I'm sure he wasn't her son. Not the way they were acting. Uh, departed on flight 1647 to Dulles, 11 this morning. DC, what the hell are they doing there? Thanks. They're already back. They landed at JFK two hours ago. NYPD, come on out, Kyle. Don't come in here! We've got a warrant to search this room, and we're going to start with the bed. Hey. I get that little detail about not leaving this jurisdiction? You blew it, buddy. We didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, you did. So get up, get dressed, and have your lawyer meet you down at the station. We don't have to say anything to you. We're married now. You're questioning my client because she was in bed with her husband? Who up until yesterday was her stepson? You want to tell us again how you never abused him, Gloria? He's 17 years old. It's not abuse. You expect us to believe that she waited until it was legal to sleep with him? This marriage is an attempt to abuse spousal privilege and circumvent the very investigation which may land the defendant in jail. Whether or not the defendant intended to avoid prosecution, he violated his bail agreement. Bail is revoked. Defendant is remanded. Congratulations on your nuptials, young man. Did Gloria Stanfield abuse her children? Is the district attorney planning to indict her for her husband's murder? We have no comment. Hey, does Gloria Stanfield's pregnancy have any effect on the child abuse allegations? Who told you that? She's knocked up three months along, and that stepson of hers is the father. How do you know that? Because she brought him with her to the appointment. Heard you're going to be a daddy. Is that true? Don't answer that. Why the hell not? Whatever his answer is doesn't incriminate him, just his mother. Gloria is my wife? Look at him. You know what that is? Fatherly pride. Kid, yours then? My client has no way of knowing the paternity of Gloria Stanfield's child. Did she tell you that was your baby? Is that why you got married? Anything Gloria told me was after we were married. That means I don't have to answer your question. You're not going to believe this. Mm. Gloria Stanfield is in the hospital. She's been raped. Contusions to her thighs and upper arms. Rape kit was positive for fluids. She lose consciousness? Awake for the whole thing. He hit her hard. Bruising's pretty severe. You know who did it because you were sleeping with him. Every word out of your mouth has been a lie. Now, you want our help, you give us his name, and you give it to us now. Frank Barbarossa. I, did, I had a stupid fling with him. I ended it months ago. I, I thought he was over it. And all this time, he was just thinking of ways to hurt me. Look, why do you guys think this was me? Because she fingered you. What? She said that you raped her, then threatened to kill her like you killed her husband. No, that's a lie. Read her statement, Frank. We got you. And we got your DNA to match to the rape kit. That alone will get you 12 and a half to 25 years of personal training at Attica. That lying bitch. Tell me about it. There's something wrong with our DNA sample? What did you do to my sperm? Not a thing. Somebody did, because there's no way it came off a rape victim. Look at this. See how the tail of each sperm is bent at the tip? Yeah, what does that tell you? The sperm was frozen. Do we know whose sperm it is? Oh, it's your guy. Frozen or not, the DNA from the rape kit matched the DNA from his towel, which matched the paternity test. There's another thing. Presence of spermicide from the rape kit sample. Like from a condom. That Gloria saved after she had sex with Frank Barbarossa. She freezes it. She plants it on herself to set him up for rape. And murder. I killed the husband, but I did it because Gloria told me to. How did she set up the murder? How the hell do you think I got in the apartment? She gave me the security code. That doesn't prove anything. Why the hell not? Because you were screwing her, so she could have given it to you at any time. Yeah, but she made up a rape to frame me. That proves that she's a liar, not a murderer. The kid's baseball bat. She told me where it was, and she told me to do it when I was done. It was her idea to set him up, too. Mr. Barbarossa, with your statement, you are the only person going to jail for this murder. I need something I can prove. Well, I guess she's going to get away with it. 